Welcome along to part two of our video tutorial where we are creating a one bedroom apartment using Autodesk Revit. In the first video you can see that we created all the exterior and interior walls for our apartment and we also added in a few doors. In this video we're going to start with the windows. So I'm going to put a few windows onto our apartment. Okay, so the way we put windows in is we go up to the architecture tab and select the window button. Now from the window there, you go to the properties and you can select different sizes. Now the sizes aren't overly big here in Revit, so what I'm going to do is just pick the biggest size possible, which is the 0915 by 1830mm window. Okay, now you can edit the type of these windows if you want and adjust the heights, all the widths and size and whatnot. I won't do it in this video, but if you would like, you can change the sizes of your windows. Okay, it's just up to you. Now where we want some windows is over here in our bedroom. Okay, so we need to make sure that the window sill is pointing out. So to be careful that you do that, zoom right in and make sure that, that blue line that you can see of mine is actually on top of the bricks, not on the interior wall. Alrighty, so I just want you to put in two windows. Okay, so I'll zoom out a bit and see what my dimensions are. Okay, so the first one's 300 mil from the edge of the wall. I'll come over here and do the same for this one. Okay, so we've got two windows sitting in there now. If you press escape twice, okay, you can move around and go to the 3D view. Swing around by holding shift and your mouse button down at the same time and just turning your mouse around. Or you can use a little cube at the top here. And you can scroll in. There's our two windows at the back of our apartment. That's looking into the bedroom. All right, so that's looking good. Okay, at the moment we've got no floors on our house either, so you can even come in, look underneath our house if you wanted to. Just a random thing I thought I'd show you. But there's our two windows. Okay, we should be putting some more over here in the lounge room, but we're actually going to put in some sliding doors for that. Okay, and we're not up to that stage just yet. Okay, so that's the only two windows that we're going to need in our apartment. Alright, next thing we're going to put in is the floor. Alright, and to put the floor in, you simply go up the top here and you select floor. Alright, so we don't need to change anything here. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to click on all the exterior walls. So you'll see some pink lines appear once you click on these exterior walls. Okay, and once they're enclosed, so you can see that that makes a perfect rectangle now, we just press the green tick at the top of the page, and that's now added a floor to our document, or to our floor plan. If we just pop over to our 3D view, you can see now we've got a floor in the bottom, and we can no longer look up through the apartment. We actually have to look down on top of it to see what's going on. Alrighty, so back to our ground floor view. The next thing I'd usually do is add a ceiling in, but for this tutorial's sake, I might hold off on the ceiling for a moment, and we might start adding some furniture in, and we might start cutting away some of these walls as well to have some openings into the kitchen and the walk-in robe, for example. Okay, so to put furniture into your apartment, you need to go up to the component button in your ribbon in the architecture tab and just click on that. And in the Modify Place Component tab that appears, you want to load in a family. And hopefully your computer takes you straight to the folders that Autodesk Revit have sitting on your computer already. And this is where you can find all sorts of cool stuff to throw inside your apartment. Okay, so for example, we've got a folder here called Furniture. If we open that up, uh, we've got some seating. Okay, if you click on these once, you'll get a preview of how these look. So I want you to go and pick a lounge, so probably a sofa. Um, I'm just going to pick the usual sofa to go into your apartment. So you double click on it, up it comes. Remember you can press spacebar to spin it around. I'm going to put my sofa, let's say about there. Alright, so now that we've got a sofa in place, we can go to the 3D view and have a look at that. I'll just swing around the other way here. There's our sofa sitting in our lounge room. Okay, probably put a TV over here somewhere. We can put some 
dining tables and chairs into the dining area next. So let's go back and it's just a matter of keep going to the component tool here, load in a family and just bring in whatever you want. So I might look up tables, uh, here's the dining table with chairs so I might bring that in and I'll just sit it somewhere over here in the dining area. Okay, easy. Press escape a couple of times, go to the 3D view and get around here. It's a little bit of a mission to get around. There we go. We've got a table where we can now eat dinner. All right, so the next thing I want to do, adding furniture is quite simple, okay? You can keep going to component, loading in families and just adding in whatever furniture you want, okay? Might just quickly add a bed while I'm here. Um, just throw in a bed. Now with the bed, you can go over to this drop down box here and choose your size, double, king or queen. Okay, so every time you pick up an object, there are different alternatives over here usually that you can pick from. So I'm going to pick a queen bed. I'll orientate it probably that way. And stick it pretty much in the middle of the room. Like so. Okay, now to cut out some of these doorways, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go back to the component tab, load in a family, and we have to look through these folders to try and find a cutout that will go on a wall. So the folder that we want to go to is openings. There it is, I was looking for that. Now in openings, we can just have simple opening with a trim, we've got different openings like you'd have a doorway there. Um, there's the passage, these are the ones that I'm looking for. So I might go with an elliptical arc, or arch, sorry, for my entrance into the kitchen. So I'll double click on that, and I'll put it right in the middle of this wall here. Okay, now I'm going to put another one in around the right hand side as well, just there. So I've got two entrances into the kitchen. I'll press escape twice, go to the 3D view for a quick look. And you can see now in my kitchen over here, I've got an arcway that leads into it from the dining room and also from the hallway. So there's two ways I can get into my kitchen now. The other one that we want to have an opening for is the walk-in robe over here. So I'm just going to go and place another component. And this time we just do a passage opening cased. And we'll stick that in there. Just check it in the 3D view, swing it around a bit, and there we go. We've got our walk-in robe now, We've got an entrance to it, and we can throw a bit of storage in there a bit later on. All right, so hopefully you get the idea of how you can start to decorate your house now. Okay, I want you to go through and just completely decorate it, put in TVs, put in your kitchen, um, think about storage in your walk-in robe. You've got your bathroom here, so you want a toilet, a sink, you want your shower. Okay, you've got a little space here for some storage near the front door in the hallway. So there's all sorts of things you can do. So I'm just going to pause the video for a moment. I'm going to go and populate my house with all sorts of goodies. And I'll come back once I've done and show you the finished product.